Okay, so I'm Matthew Houston. I am both teacher of mathematics and computer science and engineering, as well as the coach of the esports sport. Perfect. Ends out the most. The one memory, watching some of their eyes open when they came into this this arena and seeing all the computers and all the setup and just the the oh my god, we're actually doing some kind of competitive video game was was quite nice. Um, a lot of them have watched professional video gaming. They finally got to feel what it li was like to be a more professional video game. Awesome, I love to hear that. Always... All right, my name is John Wilson and I am the coach, uh, eSports director of Charlotte Christian School, a fledgling program just started this year. We've literally been together for like uh, six to eight weeks. Um, and, you know, we are enjoying kind of like the beginning of figuring out esports as a uh, school community. But when you start an esports team, now they have a community of people that when they see them in the hall, they're saying hello and they're starting to build those positive relationships. That's one of the biggest things for me is to provide that, that uh, conduit for students who may not have that connection with their school and with their classmates to be able to gain that. Actually, one of the kids who started in our program, his dad <clears throat> is also a teacher at the school and I had the opportunity to talk to him in like passing. He's like, yeah, literally, this was the only, te only thing at our school that I, my child has gravitated to. So for me, that was a big moment to hear that from a father who recognized that and that their son identified it. So for himself. So that was a very, very big thing for me and for our program. That's always going to be something that I'm going to harp and preach on to our kids in our program. Is this is number one thing. This is positive relationships. How do we continue to build those? And then we can do the other things outside of that. Yes. Now at this point, they look forward to events like this. They're, you know, to showcase what they worked on and and everything they've done, and especially something like NCISAA, they're playing rival schools, you know? They're not mm -hmm. playing at some school in Nevada or Montana. They're actually playing schools that they know, the parents recognize, and like, they love to compete, and you just see the happiness. Um, yeah. One of like one of our team, like the pink team, this is their first event ever, yeah. and you can just see the excitement yeah. that they have when they play. Yeah, and they're... Truly, I can't emphasize exactly what you just said. It's great to see the local competition. Yeah, right? the local competition. It's seeing the normal rivalries, the normal schools that you play in football, basketball, baseball, play them in esports. It brings it home for the parents. Yeah, right? so absolutely. Absolutely agree. Um, last question real quick is, what are you looking forward to most? You know, as you look forward to the next season. I would love to see this expand more. Like, I want to see more teams. I want to see more excitement. Um, some of the things that I, was incredible is to see five other schools that I've never knew that they had an esports team before come together and compete. Well, I want to see 50 other schools and come together and compete because I think that's that's what esports is. Esports is this small um, niche group, but they never really had a home to like, you know, showcase what they have. And I feel like this is the first time that we have a home to showcase. And I just wanted to see it grow bigger and better. Yep, absolutely. Well, thanks so much for taking a quick second with me today, Trey. I'm super excited to have your teams here. And I can't wait till we do this again. Yeah, till next time. Awesome. Thanks, Kyle. Thanks, Trey. Uh, Nathan Ross with Greensboro Day School. Uh, we've had kids inter interested in esports for six or seven years now. Uh, and so, yeah, it just kind of makes them hungry for more, which is great. Absolutely. Well, speaking about hungry for more, what are you looking forward to most for next season? Um, so we've got a pretty young Valorant team, so it's going to be exciting to see them uh, progress. They're already talking about summer plans, uh, getting together and things like that. Um, and so just kind of fleshing that and building that program up uh, over the next couple of years is going to be exciting. Absolutely. Well, thank you for taking a few quick minutes with me, Nathan. <laughs> Honestly, the whole thing was fun. Like. Yeah. Yeah, you don't get. I, I don't think Christ School's never done this before. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so I mean, like, we're 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 the beginning of something that will hopefully come back year and year and year, season after season, and stuff. Yeah. And be able to compete here and eventually dominate. Yeah. That's yeah. What we do in all of our other sports. And we're gonna do it here. Yeah. Love to hear it. It's the beginning of something great. <laughs> the venue is amazing, and honestly, like, you know, I would, I would, I would kill to come back here again. Yeah. You know, like.